Hello everybody and welcome back to Cinnamon Made Cosplay And today I'm bringing you another wig review because I told you on my Anka wig review that I had three wigs that I was going to review and this is another one of them This particular wig was actually, as you can see, by the yellow stuff on the package stranded at costumes because everybody wants that it was there for about a month and it's a little bit weird because I think I already talked about it um, the costumes limit here in Portugal is 22 euros and even on the package it said it is 15 dollars so I don't get why this was stranded there it was, I couldn't review it, whatever. <laughs> this wig is not for me, it's for a friend of mine because I keep telling you all, I, I'm probably a wig dealer or something. <laughs> and it is for Yuno Gasai from Mirai Nikki or Future Diary or Yandere Queen, whatever you want to call her, <laughs> or whatever you want to think she's from. And I have not opened it, I'm going to open it, unbox it, you know, normal stuff. But before all of that, I'm going to go to AliExpress to see where I bought it from. 14.95 euros from the roll cost store. It's supposed to be pink, let's see if it is pink. Uh, uh. Yeah. Oh God! <laughs> okay, okay. What? 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 Oh. Okay. Um, they were nice enough to send me a wig cap. Okay, thank you. <laughs> so if you know, you know, if you buy from here, probably you're going to get a wig cap. Oh wait, two wig caps. Okay. <laughs> Oh, it looks very pink. Ugh. Okay, first of all, the wig cap. Sanders wig cap. And let's see, it comes with the cardboard, as every order from any, any site that sells Lima wig does. And let's see, let's see, let's see how it looks. Ugh. Uh, oh, okay, okay, I, I already see something good with this wig. So, oh, it's very heavy. Okay, okay. And I already probably see something bad. <laughs> First of all, uh, it is very long, it comes a little bit stylized, you know, with the little bangs that you know as. And it is a lot more pink than I thought it would be. I can, even though I can see shades of, uh, I would say almost whitish pink. You know, it still looks a bit neon pink. Oh god. Okay. Okay. Depends are okay. I think they are not perfect. I would still. Um, stylize them better, but for what they are, they are good. The problem, the right away, the problem that I see with this wig is, I don't know if you can see it, but this part here has a little bit of missing fibers, and you can see them on the inside. You know, it is this thingy. This zone right here, it has a few missing fibers, which I find a little bit strange because it is not a problem I have with my other Lima wigs. Um, I never had a wig with missing fibers actually. Um, you know, besides the ones that are fairly cheap and I bought off eBay. Wait a minute, what? Yeah, I don't know what happened. I think I'm going to have to send this week back because... 
Okay, you can do it like this to, you know, for to hook the wig to your head, but if you have something like this, why do you have this? <laughs> I really don't get it. Um, where is he missing the hook? Did I miss something? Did it get out? I don't get it. I I really don't. And I never had this happening to me. There's no hook, really. And besides, I don't know what happened, but the um, sewing on this wig is a bit off and a bit bad. I'm just mad. <laughs> you know, it's especially because it's not for me, it's for a friend of mine and, you know, I... I feel so bad because I love Lee Mail and I never had any wig from them having any kind of problems and receiving this wig and seeing that there is a missing hook, there are a few uh, missing fibers. I know it is probably nitpicking a little bit but on the wig cap you see the glue to hold it and it is black and when you turn the wig normally you can see it and I don't have that problem with any other wig so it is so hard for me to do this video okay um I'm going to try it on and hope for the best I guess so everybody, this is how it looks, and as always, the fringe is too big, I'm going to ask my friend if she wants me to cut it. Um, other than that, um, it is art as well to put on, <laughs> because of the hook problem, you know, if you don't have the hook, it's going to get worse and worse. And the problem is that it's not that the wig is too big, but um, you know, the side things that normally you have to protect your forehead, they are too long. Honestly, I hate doing this review because I'm so freaking disappointed. <laughs> And normally I am a huge, huge, huge Limel fan and I praise their wigs and I praise their quality for the price they're paying. This one was probably just a bad one in the amount of great ones that I find and that I own out of Limel. But yeah, <laughs> unfortunately I cannot say a lot more about it. Think besides the problems that the wig had, it was also stranded at customs, like I said. But that is not a problem on their part. It is a problem on the Portugal Costume Services part. So guys, I hope you enjoy it. If you want to see more of these kind of review thingies, let me know, please, on the comments down below. Also, let me know what you think, because I like to hear opinions. And as always, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye!